Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell. You know, I just had to sign off of Facebook because I was just seeing too many things that were really starting to get me angry and upset. And I don't blame this on Facebook. I don't necessarily blame it on the people who I'm connected with that I see these things. I got to blame it on society. You know, over the last couple of weeks, there's been a lot of incidences that have been racial. Now, the funny thing about it is that minorities see this. An overwhelming number of other people see it, but there's this group of people who say, well, why are you always pulling out race? Well, let's see here. The kid in Ferguson, Missouri, who was killed, was black. He was killed by a white cop. Kid in St. Louis was killed by a, black, by a white cop, and he was black. A uh, couple days ago, maybe even yesterday, I don't know exactly when it is, a guy in Los Angeles who is a producer and an actor and was going to the Emmys gets arrested, black man, by Beverly Hills police because they supposedly had this thing out saying that a black man, bald head, was wanted for some kind of crime. And they pull him over. They don't ask him any information. They don't check his ID or nothing. Six hours later, they let him go. But what, what's the deal with that? And then tonight, I see another thing where in Seattle, this is Seattle, some guy was just walking by. There was some kind of weird protest going on. I can't even find out what the protest was about. It's hard to get more news uh, except for this video where this black man comes walking out of something. There's these other people who are in some kind of argument and fight white. And the mall cop, this isn't even a real cop, comes over and maces the black guy. He wasn't even part of the thing. He just came walking out, maces him in the face. And then everyone is screaming at this guy, you got the wrong guy, why are you arresting him? And a cop comes up and says, let this man do his job. Everyone's screaming, but he didn't do anything. They got the wrong guy. And all the cop could keep saying was, let the man do his job. You know what? This is why riots start. In my last video, I said that I thought that, you know, the people who were rioting in Ferguson are taking it a bit too far. And I do. I still stick with that. You know, the initial anger definitely deserved some kind of response. Uh, looting and robbing. No, that's, that's just garbage. That's just nonsense. Uh, actually, intentionally confronting police. Eh, that's a bit of nonsense also, but that harkens back to the 60s and 70s. There hasn't been as much of that um, now, but it's starting to come back because this is what our country is, is getting back to. You know what? This is just how it is. Um, but this is how riots start. When there's a number of people who see an injustice, no one listening to them, no one even trying to listen to them, and mess happens. And, I, you know, whether it's St. Louis in the area where they said, well, this was always racially charged and there's some kind of history going back on the police in Ferguson. I don't know St. Louis all that well. I've heard better things about Seattle than junk like this. And from what I understood, mall cop isn't really even supposed to be able to arrest anybody. But they allowed it to happen anyway. And I can't even get any information, no information. If anyone knows any further information, if the man was, you know, if someone finally apologized to this guy, if this guy is going to sue, I can't find any information. But this is why riots start, because a lot of people get together. It's not always beer or alcohol related or drug related or sports related. It's because of junk like this. Now, I have said this for years. I don't know if I've ever said it on video, but I'm going to say it now. I don't trust the police. I have never trusted the police. doesn't mean there aren't individuals who are pretty cool. I've met some nice police officers. But there's this mentality, and truthfully, it's not just police. There's a mentality when folks get together, and there's a certain amount of authority they believe they have that they just start acting wrong. I've seen it in police. I've seen it on military bases. I used to see it from frat boys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if sororities probably, they probably do the same thing. But I used to see fraternities do this in college. Absolutely hated all of them for that kind of junk. You know, I, I don't know what it is. Um, but you get these groups who think they're something. And then they start treating people badly. 
and then stuff happens. And then they're sitting there saying, why is everyone mad at me? You know, let's face a fact. In its own way, Congress is its own little, you know, sorority, fraternity, or whatever. You get, you know, these guys on both sides. You know, yes, I'm pretty liberal, but I got to tell you the truth. Sometimes there's some stuff that is too far extreme on the liberal side, although not as much as the other side. But it becomes this thing where, at times, I don't think that everyone really believes the stuff that they say, but they feel that they have to say it because they have their constituency. You know? But this is why riots start. This is why people get mad at this kind of stuff. I got mad last year when the Trayvon Martin decision came down and Zimmerman got off. And that was probably the first time that I can ever remember feeling as though I wanted to go out and have some kind of riot. Uh, of course, where I live, <laughs> that wouldn't have done any good. And since I wasn't even in town, I was, I was sitting in a hotel room, Yeah, that probably wouldn't have done as much good either. Even though where I'm working happens to be a city that is 66% black and I probably could have found a riot somewhere but it probably would have been in a neighborhood I shouldn't have been in late at night anyway especially being an out-of-towner I wouldn't have even known where to go or how to even get out of it so I was probably better that way if I'd been at home there wouldn't have been anything to do except just be mad so I've never had the opportunity to participate in a riot like that you know, I've been to a couple of events here and there, but I've never been to one. But I've definitely been mad enough to want to be in one. And it's just wrong. There's just too much of this. You know, bad behavior by groups of people just makes other people, you know, a good example. Guy I know here on YouTube. Uh, I'm just going to say Scott right now. I don't want to say the full name in case he doesn't want it. Well, he just recently stopped accepting comments on his videos. And he did that because he said people would just start fighting among each other. Or some people would come to the page just to call him names. I mean, you know, groups of trolls. There, I didn't even know this, but there are actually websites that recruit trolls. <laughs> people who hate everything will get together so they can hate on it at the same time. Really, this is a thing? <laughs> I, I, I'm just always amazed by what people will come up with. But there you go. He got tired of it. He decided he was just going to eliminate comments altogether. Unlike me, well, I don't have tons of people watching my videos yet. Come on, come on. But you know what? I'm just going to eliminate the trolls I'm not having it on, on the channel. And, you know, if, probably if I get to that thing where I get three or 4,000 comments, ain't never going to happen. But if I did, then it might be a little more difficult to deal with. But, you know, Google, yeah, YouTube is owned by Google, still set up filters that you can put in so that people use certain language. They're just gone. It just doesn't even show up. And so that stuff's gone. They already know how to eliminate spammers. So... You know, I don't have to worry about that kind of thing. But the fact that a bunch of people had to get together and basically ruin his experience uh, of being able to interact with people and talk to people on his videos shows just how serious this stuff is. So, you know, this wasn't the initial video topic I was going to have, but, you know, just after seeing so much of this stuff, and it just keeps happening every day, over and over. And I don't know. I, I, I don't know if there's anything anyone can say to me that would make me feel better about this. But it would be interesting to see what some of you think. I know there's probably going to be some people eventually who may see this who are going to say, well, we have to give the police their due. We've got to give them their uh, legal rights. You know, we have to wait to see what the truth is. Really? I'm sure Rodney King was saying, wait, y'all filming all these people beating my behind? <laughs> we all saw what that was. Come on. I don't know. This is just what I got today. Let me know your thoughts. This is Mitch Mitchell. Y'all have a good night.